first versus second then. Spurs under 18s against West Ham under 18s and Stuart Lewis decide looking to end the year on a high. Instantly they'll have some defending to do and West Ham are through into the area and that would have been the worst of starts. Sawumi who made the burst unable to trouble Kerry Blodon though. Tips away from the challenge, makes his way in field. Adewole is there. Adewole waits for the overlapping run of Logan. Cut back to Damola Ajayi. Leo Black, edge of the area. Onto Tyrese Hall, delivers to the back of the area. And the, and the Spurs corner gets the flick. And the whistle was blown in any case, and the effort would not have stood. Lovely ball. Ellis Le Off goes Demola Rajai here. Low delivery. Ethan, two very well matched teams, not giving too much away. Ola Sacy with the ball. Difficult one for Leo Black. He has controlled and did well to even get the shot away. Didn't really carry the power to trouble Finn Herrick. With a ball that was loose and Spurs have it back and Leo Black is shot. Where was the whistle? Surely that was a foul. Like Petta bursting, lifting one over the roof of Kerry Blodorn's net. West Ham doing well though, they didn't have much time on the ball, Ayala feeding it through and off goes Rig here for West Ham who gets his angles all wrong and puts the effort wide. And it's a big let off here for Spurs, you have to say that, fabulous ball through here. Ayala did ever so well to send in behind the Spurs defenders, that's a poor finish though. But he's won the ball, the Spurs centre-back. Damola Rajai did think about playing the early pass to Ellis Lehane. Instead makes the run, gets into a crossing position, finds Olesese and his shot well saved by the feet of Finn Herrick. Well, Spurs do brilliantly, having had to withstand a spell of pressure to get themselves back up to the other end of the field. Morgan again floats in the ball. Spurs get the glancing header and it's touched in inside the six yard box. Kalamala Sacy is on the score sheet again. Well, having won the corner, he reacts the quickest inside the box. And Spurs have the breakthrough. First against second, and it's the league leader, Spurs, who get the first goal. An inviting delivery from Kieran Morgan, flicked on at the front post. Archie Chaplin, who managed to get there, and Ola Sacy able to steer the ball beyond Herrick, the goalkeeper, to give Spurs the advantage. Breaking free is Ellis Lehane. Has a quick glance up, waits for support. That arrives in the shape of Leo Black, who will go for goal and see the effort. Rig. Sends one into that packed six-yard box, and it's recovered here by Briggs, who heads back in the driving run. Ball around the outside, finding Adewole. Has he got the delivery here? Well, the effort through the traffic, having this end of the field. They've allowed West Ham to pass out, though, and Rig is on the break. Has to win me in support, who makes the burst, and he gets beyond Mason King, and hits the post. Well, we saw West Ham in the Premier League. Spurs on the attack here with Damola Rajai. Found by Callum Olesese. Wanted the return pass, doesn't get it. Comes through here and now Callum Olesese is on the ball, but he's offside with the Spurs striker. Given away by West Ham. Ellis Lehane waits before shooting. 
And in the end, it's a brilliant recovery by the West Ham defender, Caliste, and Spurs win another corner. A Jai's ball. Lahane felt that he was through, but the whistle had already gone. Well, it has been a difficult first half for Spurs against West Ham, second in the league. But it's the league leaders, Tottenham Hotspur, who are. <laughs> Away we go then for the second half. And Spurs, who topped the table. And well anticipated by Mason King, who's back there. Rig slips it through. West Ham into a promising position. And it doesn't take long in the second half. So Wumi is there, missed a big chance in the first period. Makes no mistake this time. West Ham fired up here in the second half. Rig with a brilliant ball. And so Wumi just pulled away from the Spurs defence. And the deflection carried it beyond Kerry Blodorn. But there is nobody there to meet it in a claret shirt. He'll get another go. Big appeal for a penalty. Was there the use of the arm? There wasn't, but there will be a corner kick for West Ham. Callum Logan came across to close down. And the arms were both down by the side. Rig. Short corner. On the turn, Kaliste. Wide. Ball is intercepted by Oyabade, who makes the breaking run. His ball is good, so a tough 10 minutes for Spurs. Damalo Rajai bringing the ball away, plays it in behind. Ola Sesi offside. And he's done well, and that's a fabulous pass out towards Adewole. Miracle Adewole for Spurs, gets the cross to the back of the area, overhit. And again, West Ham looking dangerous here in attack as the ball comes wide. And the cross is good, but it's well hooked away by the recovering Morgan. Will drop here for Rig. Thought about the shot. Here comes the effort. Flashed over by Caliste. Took a deflection, did it on the way through. Corner kick. Rig's pass. And Spurs playing a high line may have been caught out here. And Liam Jones, who's only just come onto the field, with his first touch, controlled the ball, and with his second, slid it under Kerry Blodorn. Some impact here, and Spurs, having been one ahead, find themselves 2-1 behind. Well, the pass gave him the room. Spurs completely caught out here. Didn't step up in time, and Jones had the presence of mind to finish off. Lining up this free kick, and it's perhaps surprising that Spurs only have one in the wall here. Curling strike, looking for the flick on, and Spurs get very lucky indeed. Well, this was a wonderful ball. Good cut back, Logan. Big chance, Spurs. Well taken. Damola Rajai with a goal that comes out of nothing for Spurs. But as we've seen from these under 18s all the way through the season, they have the capability and they do it time and time again. One of Spurs' few adventures forward into West Ham territory in the second half. But Damola Rajay makes no mistake. Spurs need to stop Rig getting onto the ball so often. Again, feeding wide. Again, the substitute Jones is there. Big deflection as Spurs recover. 
West uh, given away by Olasese. And uh, West Ham charge. Here comes Jones. Jones delivers. There is space. There's no one there for West Ham. Here's the substitute. West Ham looking to attack again. Leo Black is back there. West Ham building, looking for goal number three, and they found it too. Nice link up play. Amolu into Sawumi. West Ham lead again for the second time in the game. Well, Sawumi, who scored the equaliser, is the one who's on the score sheet. Poor clearance away, gave them the opportunity, lovely feet, and a nice return pass around the corner from Amolu too. Not too much that Kerry Blodorn could do about that. Into here, Tyrese Hall for Spurs on the break. Ajayi checks his run, Hall on his own! Sees the effort pushed away. Now Leo, uh, Tyrese Hall will go for goal. And Tyrese Hall will find the arms. Of Finn Herrick. Oh. Ball away. Demola Rajayi on the break. Trying to trouble West Ham at the back. Lovely turn from Demola Rajayi. He makes the run into the penalty area. Demola Rajayi will go for goal. And the deflection coup. And now dancing through is Sawunmi. Sawunmi, though, unable to connect with Rig. Rig again. Twisting, gets the shot away, a curling strike. Back of the area is where the ball is sent. And it's another of West Ham's substitutes who grabs what could well prove to be the crucial goal. Hallin with the effort. And the celebrations tell the story. A big goal here for West Ham in their quest to close the gap on top of the table, Spurs. On the chase again, it's Jones, the substitute here, who wins a corner. Well, in the final game of an excellent year, Spurs taste defeat. Still at the top of the table.